The 1535 program was developed to address a group of patients that harbor specific families of EGFR oncogenic mutations. So it was designed to be brain penetrant as well. So it's able to treat glioblastomas, uh, but also CNS metastases. It's actually occurring up to half of all non-small cell lung cancer patients. Uh, it was designed to capture distinct conformational states that are generated by both the extracellular domain mutations that are associated with glioblastoma, but also the intracellular domain mutations that fall outside of the kinase site and are often responsible for non-small cell lung cancer. Um, these mutations promote the formation of stabilized active dimers in the case of the intracellular mutations driving non-small cell lung cancer, or locked active dimers in the case of extracellular mutations and alterations that are associated with glioblastoma. 1535 favors binding to these active dimers over the inactive monomeric form of EGFR. And it's that reason that uh, 1535 actually spares wild type EGFR and why we expect that to improve in an improved tolerability and, and even enable fuller knockdown of the mutant EGFR to enhance efficacy. The BDTX 1535 IND received clearance from the FDA uh, in early January this year, 2022. Uh, the first in human phase one trial, which is NCT 0525629, is now open and recruiting at several sites. BDTX uh, 1535-101 is uh, an open-label, multi-center study enrolling biomarker-selected patients with recurrent GBM harboring EGFR, EGFR alterations as well as locally advanced or metastatic non-small cell lung cancer with EGFR mutations of intrinsic or acquired resistance and who have the disease progression following standard of care. So the patients uh, can enroll either with or without CNS disease. Um, the aim is to ex assess the, both the safety, tolerability, pharmacokinetics, pharmacodynamics, and the preliminary antitumor activity of 1535. And to do that, we're working very closely with uh, neuro-oncology, thoracic oncology, and phase one oncology experts. The dose escalation cohorts will be used first to identify the recommended phase two dose of BTTX 1535 after oral administration. And after the initial dose escalation, which will include patients with either GBM or non small cell lung cancer, we'll assess early efficacy and disease specific in, in disease specific expansions, um, hoping to achieve an, a clear understanding of both systemic and CNS responses and the CNS progression-free survival.